Spectacular magazine. We on the scene. I can tell you what's in here. Questions for Mark, please. That's right there. You guys okay? Yeah. Good. <coughs> Could you talk a little bit about the energy after the uh, Kentucky game and how do you build on that performance moving forward? Uh, we just want to stay consistent. I mean, obviously, it's a big win for us uh, to start the season off 1 0 it is what we uh, wanted to do. So, uh, we got uh, a tough Army team coming in here Sunday and we look forward to that game. How excited are you to get back to Cameron for the first regular season game? Uh, really excited. I mean, it's our home opener, so I mean, it's kind of hard to uh, not be excited to play in Cameron Indoor for the first time. What, I was going to say, what, what's film review like after that game? It seemed like you guys played about perfect. I mean, I'm sure the coaches found something, but what, what did you guys learn from that uh, to take in the rest of the games? Uh, really just being consistent. I mean, we had a couple of turnovers uh, that weren't forced. They were just self-inflicted, so we, uh, we just try to correct those and, uh, and really talking on the defensive end and not picking up cheap fouls. Or at least the, the, the freshman's first game is like unworldly, you know, but do you have to tell them anything to say, hey, life's not all going to be like this every single game? And kind of what, when, when you're playing a team that's like you are this week that's not as highly ranked or coming in with all the hype, do you have to kind of make sure they're back down to earth a little bit? No, I mean, they're, they're smarter than that. They know better than, the, uh, than to think every game is, is going to be like that. So. Uh, they're a talented group. I mean, obviously, as everyone saw, they can really play. So uh, for us to stay consistent is the biggest key. Marquise, how have you guys, you know, the last few days, it's been all the talk about how great Duke is, especially after that win. So you haven't been here a while. How do you kind of tamper some of those expectations after such a big win so early on a big stage? Uh, I mean, you try not to pay too much attention to it because, I mean, if we would have lost that game, they would have been the same people uh, saying that we weren't ready this year. So, I mean, we, it kind of goes in one area and out the other. You mentioned some of the cheap fouls. You guys were in pretty deep foul trouble there, even starting in the first half. A lot of guys, five, six guys with two fouls and some three. Um, what did you guys learn about that and, and being able to play in foul trouble and still be effective defensively? Uh, I mean, we played really physical in practice, so I mean, that, that kind of flowed over into the game, obviously, with all those foul calls. So uh, we just try to, you know what I'm saying, keep our hands off people and, and talk to the rest and see like what we were doing wrong. Do you feel like you guys have established our identity yet? No, I mean, we're only one and oh. We haven't really done much of anything. Uh, no conference games. No, we we barely started the season. So our identity is uh, is, is going to be found out later. Just looking at you know what you guys did offensively, I would suppose that teams try to implement zones against you guys after they watch tape um, to try to slow you down. Um, how, how did you guys just run freely? I mean, you didn't do a whole lot of sets and stuff. How, how does that impact your approach offensively, or how do you think it might impact your approach offensively? Uh, I feel like that that goes with our chemistry off the court. I mean, for us to play uh, so well together on the court and know where each person is going to be uh, is a testament to how close we are. So uh, we practice against all types of defenses, and we, we expect the unexpected. So we just try to uh, take each game one by one. Recently, your jump shot has been looking a lot better. Has that been a focus for you in the offseason? How comfortable are you hitting that mid-range shot uh, this uh -huh. season? I'm very comfortable in myself. I mean, very confident in myself uh, with making that shot. And uh, that's just one of the many focuses I've, I've been working on, just trying to get in better shape, be more versatile, and, and more things like that. Uh, the other night, your team was almost 50% from the three-pointer. Uh, has that been a big focus for the team going forward, is just making sure everybody can make those three-pointers, those open threes? Uh, yeah, I mean, Coach preaches a lot about standstill threes because we have a lot of guys that draw a lot of attention, so a lot of guys are going to be open. So for uh, us to knock down uh, wide open shots is very important this year. There takes, a, I guess, a special mentality when you're already up on the team, 17 points at halftime to come out and extend it to 25, 30 points. Where do you think that came from for you guys in this, in this first game? I mean, we knew how talented they were. The game was far from over at halftime, and we knew uh, – the players that they had on the other side. So we just tried to do uh, more of what we did in the first half and, and win the game. Anything else? All right, we're Thank you.